Howdy guys, I'm back with more Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. Last time I made it to the Ritorana Cataract and then I entered the first ascent of Pharos here. Says, well, no place to go but up, so let's start exploring and see what we're getting into here. Nothing happens. Strong magic spine the device. Oh boy, another waystone. I swear I will never see another waystone too soon. I am I've after the great crystal I have definitely had my fill of waystones. Alright, a carven carven? Carven pillar. Ancient letters hang in an effulgent glow. This tower, wrought by hands undying, heaven-bound path. Its myriad ways cannot be walked by those of the world below. Those who trespass here in avarice will pay with tears. They who master power, wisdom, mist. The tower's secrets are for them and them alone. So basically, if I'm understanding this right, um, Ash can't walking through here wanting revenge. That's not the way, so I think the Akuria might be wrong on the whole revenge thing. Alright, does this say the th same thing? Um, no, okay, this one's different. Lo, seeker of heaven's path, setting out hearts of darkness shall light your way. Okay, hearts of darkness shall light your way. I feel like that's going to be a clue. Beyond vigil of the three houses, stand threshold of night and watcher both. Oh gosh, this is getting complicated. Hearts of darkness, three houses, night and watcher both. Okay. Oh man, these like cryptic sounding puzzles. I have no clue what any of them ever mean. Alright, well, before I look around too much in here, I think I should go through these side doors and... Oh, okay, this is like... Oh my goodness, this is like a whole side area here. Um, okay, everything is level 46, so... Oh, whoops, uh, Red Oz is probably gonna go crazy casting holy on everything. Oh, that was a, a fake treasure. Oh my gosh, I think I might have to turn my... I think I'm going to have to calm down with the holy gambit thing. I should maybe change, should I do, well I do have it set to weak, he just, okay. Alright, alright, if he wants to go crazy with the holy casting, it sure is bright and obnoxious though, look at that, ah, burn and holy fire or something. Ooh, a pair of magic gloves, cool, cool. Oh, wait. Did, what the heck? There was like a... Like a black... It, it had like the thing said black orb. I thought it said black orb and then it disappeared or... Am I crazy? Is there any chance that I'm crazy and I just saw things? <laughs> I mean, I've got a little bit of uh, light on my screen from the window behind me. Or maybe Red Oss is holy is... Oh no, there is something here. Hey, 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 what, what, what is... What is that? Let's, Ah, Vaughn, stop! Oh, it ran away again. Okay, so here's another one. Okay, can I click on that? Alright, the floating orb gives off a dark eldritch glow. Ooh, okay, touch it. You obtain a black orb. Okay, is that like... Um, some... Oh, okay. Very rarely, when a certain creature is slain, the lost life force coalesces into a tiny black orb. Some magical devices are said to draw on this energy, okay? So, is this, is it loot or is it, oh, okay, it's, it van, okay, it's vanishing again, I guess. I guess I only have a second to click on it or something, so I might need to turn the speed down or something. Alright, what's this? Ancient letters hang a yeah. benighted child, unchosen with life so short, this tower freely may you tread. In your passing, learn of truth. In your passing, speak of truth. These words writ by hands undying. 
So, undying, does that mean Alcuria? Or, or what? I don't know what to, I don't know what to think of anything. Everything's, I feel stupid. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Alright, I gotta turn the speed boost up. I, ah, ah, okay, there we go. Another black orb, so... Okay, these black orbs are confusing me. I feel like they're just, um... I don't know if those are, if they're just treasure or if I'm supposed to use them for something because I haven't had any other like loot random treasure just it's usually like in a bag but this this stuff isn't and I can't click on it because I'm turbo bad there we go maybe, maybe that's the gimmick of this area or something that instead of loot you get black orbs I don't know Oh my gosh, this game seems so much more painful and slow when it's not double double speed. How did anyone play this before the, the double speed? And I don't even have it on the, like, four times speed. It can go even fast. Oh, damn it, I forgot about the orbs. Okay, okay. Gotta remember to pick those up. I definitely want to grab those, I guess. I'm, I'm not really sure. I don't know what I'm doing at all. Was it uh, really? I don't know what I was expecting out of this game, but there's a lot more dungeons than I would have ever imagined. And not that it's a bad thing, it's just um, really surprising to me that there's, you know, A, been so many dungeons, but also uh, B, they've been all so massive, which, you know, again, I'm. Oh, I need to grab these. Again, I'm not complaining, I'm just. I don't know, pretty surprised. You know, most Final Fantasy games don't seem to have such big areas. Oh, a locked door? Threshold of Night. Okay, that was something that was on the Carven pillar. Strong magic behind the door. It will not open. Of course it won't open. Why would it? Alright, there's a treasure over here when we're done blasting this thing with holy... Ooh, Hermes sandals. What are those? Well, I mean, I know they're an accessory, but what kind of accessory? Let's see. Oh, you just have perma haste. Well, uh, yeah, I definitely want that. I think Bosch is probably just the perfect dude for it, too. Alright, definitely can't complain about that. Oh my gosh, this place is huge. Oh, I need to keep grabbing these, too. How many do I have, anyway? So, I'm... For, I, for some reason, I really don't feel like these are just normal loots. It just seems strange that I have to, like, actually pick them up. I really do think they might be used for something. Hmm. Oh, I got tricked again by the little treasure dude there. But yeah, man, you know, this game, this has been a really interesting one. I don't really know what I think of it yet. Still after, let's see, how many hours do I have? 62 hours, and I'm still really bad at the game, too. 62 hours of playing, and I still don't even know what the heck I think of anything. I really don't. Like, I, of course, love the jobs. I, I like the combat, you know, I mean... The running around, leveling it up, leveling up, I mean, it is what it is, you know, it's like, I mean, I like grinding, but I think I'm kind of a bit of a minority as far as that goes. I kind of like, I like this, but I kind of like the slower turn-based traditional kind of Final Fantasy, oh, whoops, uh, Bosch has stopped there. I, I kind of like the more traditional, like, turn-based fighting, too, though I know I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, you know? I mean, I like it, but I also like the other way, too, so I, I, don't, I don't feel strongly about any type of combat system. This one's cool. I mean, it gets, um, you know, the grinding is a lot faster since everything's sped up. But I also kind of like the slower turn-based stuff because I feel like I have more time to think about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Whereas with this, I don't know, I feel a little bit more rushed. I feel like I make a lot of mistakes when I'm fighting because there's so much going on. And 
you know, it, it, it's a lot, but I do like it. Now, as far as the story goes, oh man, it's definitely a doozy. I, I can already tell that this is, after I beat it, I'm probably going to want to turn around and play through it again, just because the story has been just a lot to take in. It's been really, really crazy. I really do feel like this is going to be one of those games. I don't know if there's like a new game plus or anything. That would be really radical if there was, but um, it's definitely worth playing through a second time after you kind of know the story and know what's going on and then you know, going back and looking through at everything with fresh eyes, like, oh, okay, I, I understand this character's motivation for doing that a little bit better now that I see where this character's going. You know, like, I'm not sure how I feel about the Akuria, and, you know, we've been seeing, you know, visions of Ashes, you know, I, I want to say ex, that sounds terrible, but the guy died, so I guess it's her ex. I... Like I said, I don't. It seems kind of tacky to say that, but it kind of is what it is, right? But um, I find it kind of weird that we keep seeing visions of him, and I don't know if it's. Uh, I I don't. I, at first, I thought it was Ash kind of being a bit of a basket case, to be honest. But now that we saw him with the Akuria, I feel like the Akuria aren't necessarily the most benevolent creatures that ever existed. Um, you know, they feel like they alone have the power to control yeah, everything, I guess. And, oh, here we go. Altar of Night. The altar bears a time-worn inscription. Alright, the beasts here, dwelling oft, possesses black orbs. Herewith approach, by thine offering, sealed way to open. Oh, okay, so this is what those orbs are for. So, do I... Oh, okay, use a black orb. Okay, so... I guess I... The first seal has been broken, the first of many, I'm sure, so I guess I need to find the rest of these things, um, gosh, well, I, I guess they're not all here, I guess, our, hmm, I feel like I've kind of explored most of these rooms pretty well, I'm not really sure if I've missed one of these altar or, altars or not, so... I guess I'll have to just do a little bit of running around. And did that use... Did that just use one orb? Okay, no, I've still got like 11 black orbs, so hopefully I don't have 11 different pedestals. I think... I think I'll probably need three because the... One of the little cryptic writings mentioned something about the three something. I don't even remember. It's see, I'm terrible at this game. So I think I should be okay on black orbs. So I think I just need to find where the rest of those pillars are. So yeah. But yeah, so I think the Akuria might be just, you know, make be making these visions of Ash's ex to manipulate her is kind of what I'm thinking now. I'm I'm not really sure. Like I like I said, I can I get the feeling that these Akuria aren't really I'm not sure what they want. I'm not sure what their angle is. If they just I I really don't know why they're doing what they're doing, I guess. I mean I feel like they have to have some motivation, but oh Threshold of Night. Strong magic. Oh, okay, so still can't go through there. Hmm. Okay, I think... I don't think I went over... Oh, uh, gosh. It's a maze in here. I, like, the rooms aren't all connected. Like, certain rooms are only connected together. But I feel like I should probably just run away, honestly, so I'm not in here fighting for the rest of my life. I feel like I should probably go in here. I think I haven't been in here. I bet one of the pillars might maybe be in here. Maybe I'm wrong. It just feels like it would be in this area. Let's see. Uh oh, Altar of Night. Okay, use a black orb. Okay. 
Okay, the second seal has been broken. I should have probably... Oh, okay, I probably should have read the inscription. I'm just like, yay, I found it! Oh, okay, so this goes... Hmm, I guess so I need to go back to where I was. And I'm guessing that first, um... Waystone is the third thing I'm supposed to fiddle with. I'm assuming, I don't know, I'm probably totally wrong on this, but whatever. You know, you, uh, you guys already know how I feel about puzzles by now, and I know that the ones in this game aren't that bad. Um, okay, no, nothing happened, so maybe I need to check here. Let me refresh myself here. There we go. Alright, so... Wasn't there something over here, maybe? Yes, Altar of Night. Alright, is it the same inscription? Yeah, alright. Use a black orb. Alright, so... Stuff's happening. The third seal has been broken. The seal of night loses its power. Alright, so I need to figure out... Oh gosh, looking at this map gives me a headache. Um, I need to figure out the path of least resistance to get to that middle door that was closed. And even with this overlay map, it's still a little difficult to tell exactly. Well, maybe I'm sitting a little too far away from my television and I can't quite see those little skinny spaces on the map trying to avoid a fight, but I don't... Uh oh I'm stopped. I don't think I can avoid a fight completely. They... They want me. What can I say? I guess I should probably actually run away if I don't want to fight instead of just having Vaughn run around like a spaz. It just gets kind of time consuming, you know? I mean, maybe I should actually sit here and fight. It's not like I'm doing anything besides running forward gambits do everything. Alright. Uh, ancient letters hang in the Stygian glow, or Stygian glow? Stygian? Stygian? I don't know, I'm an un uneducated hick. Alright, read the inscription. Ahead the watcher waits, first of three. Ye without wisdom, return whence ye came. So the first of three bosses is what it sounds like, so let's go on in. Get ready for whatever it is I'm going to be facing in here. Alright, I'm going to turn... I already know it's... Oh! Where am I? I'm like in a desert now. Looks like the world has been ruined or something. It's a sad, depressing desert. And the map doesn't really tell me a lot. Just, uh... What the heck? I'm... Okay, dunes of profaning wind. Okay, I guess I'll just figure out where to go. I guess I'll turn the speed. Oh, never mind. What happened? Um, I walked this way. Whoa, okay, I guess that means that's the wrong way to go. Ooh, this is kind of a... Am I going on a spirit journey here? Am I going to find my spirit animal? Like, will there be a coyote howling at the moon at the end of all of this? Because <laughs> that's kind of what I'm feeling like right here. I feel like we're... Oh, hold on. What do we got here? Uh-oh, it's going to be a adamantoise or something. Adamantoise with no head? Oh, it's a, pandemo a pandemonium. Okie dokie. Man, I really hate that, like, you can't find out more about, about the bosses off the bat. Like, I guess you can make assumptions. Like, it looks like a turtle, but maybe not. So I can maybe assume it might be weak to lightning or water. And, um... It's probably going to be a little bit strong to physical attack, so why don't I bring in Balthier, and I'd like to bring in Ash instead of Pinello, but, you know, gotta give it a second there. 
Alright, so let's have Balthier bust out the bio. And then uh, Pinello's hooking us up with a dispel. And I don't know if this is going to be one I'm going to end up overcomplicating or not. It, this guy's going down pretty fast, and I may not need to use like a bunch of quickenings and spells. Baldir's pelting him with Blizzaga, but it's not really doing a whole lot of damage. Um, I don't know if, let's see, Shock might do more damage. I don't know, maybe I should... Uh, I'm not sure. I think Redos is carrying the group. Oh, it's immune to magic. Oh, a magic shield. It said it was immune to magic. Okay, I think it's switching between being immune to physical and being immune to magic. So right now it's immune to physical. I don't know if it's going to switch. All right. Um, let's drop you out and let's actually. Man, I don't. I guess I'll bring Ash and she has a few magic spells. She has a bleed. I don't know if that'll work. Let's try. It won't hurt to try. And don't know if that worked or not. I should probably put haste on Balthier since he's pretty much all of our damage right now. Since uh, this thing's immune to physical damage. Um, let's try, I don't know, I thought turtles were usually weak to thunder or blizzard, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, wait, 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 it is no, oh, it was, it's no, oh, it was immune to magic, okay, I don't, I'm apparently not paying attention to it, I don't know. Alright, so, is it immune to magic or is it immune, okay, he's doing this stone, oh gosh, we're all, we're all messed up here. Alright, let's get both or er, Bosch back out and make him the leader. Alright, let's see. Can he bonk this thing? Or is it immune? Let's see. Are you bonking him? Okay, yeah, that looks like it's back to doing regular damage. You know, I keep forgetting I have all these techniques. I've just been basically pretending they're not there, honestly. Um, I don't know if any of these would bypass that immunity he had. I guess I should have, um... I guess I should have tried, but too late now. I'll just go back to bonk. Good old bonking. Alright, in fact, um, I want to think I want to bring Balthier, get Balthier out, if he can ever stop casting a spell. I want to get Balthier out, I think, and bring in, um, I want to bring in Vaughn, but I can't get Balthier out of combat, so... I don't know, I don't think I can get him out of combat, so he's just gonna sit here being handsome as always. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, it doesn't matter. This pandemonium dude is getting destroyed by Bosch. Look how much damage Bosch does. He's such a boss. Bosch? More like boss. Oh, 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 oh. Gosh, I'm so lame. I don't even know what I can... I don't even understand how I live with myself. I'm sorry. Look at this turtle. Why are you just running? You're running into a wall, dude. Come on. Get it together. Silly turtle. Alright, little victory fanfare here. Glad that uh, we have our friendly Red Oz guest to help out, make things a lot easier. Am I like I'm I'm pushing start guys, it's 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 just doing its thing, sorry. Oh, okay, so this is tell oh it huh? The magic binding the waste stone fate oh. Okay, so basically I guess the way that each of these floors is going to work is I'm gonna have to defeat a boss to move up the floors and I'm guessing every floor is going to have a gimmick or something. I don't know if all of them are going to have this like black, in fact I guess maybe I should um, uh, grab more of these black orb things in case I'm going to need them for the next, oh nope too slow, in case I need them for the next floors. Uh oh, looks like my 
Final Fantasy XV is being updated on my PlayStation there. Decided to interrupt my Final Fantasy XII to let me know that. I haven't played... Fi I'm not gonna lie, I haven't played Final Fantasy XV since, um... Like, January. <laughs> I, you know, keep meaning to try out the DLC and stuff, but... I don't know. I don't know. I just... I feel like a lot of times DLC is stuff that should have been included in the base game anyway, you know, like important story elements kind of stuff, so... I don't know. I mean, 15... oops, I don't need to be going in here. 15 was an alright enough game, but, you know, real huge lack of character development kind of ruined it for me, you know, it's like I really had no idea why any of the characters were there, basically. It's like, we're all just friends, hey, okay, alright. That's just my opinion, though. Alright, refreshing myself here, and then, let's see, so this waystone should work now. Magic stir within the device, alright. Floor 1 of 99 complete. <laughs> oh gosh. I hope I'm joking. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm joking. All right, so oh, okay, I'm on the I'm on the tenth floor now. See, all right, I like it. I just um, jumped up ten floors just like that. If we're going to get to the sun crystal. We need to figure out this place. What's this? We, you mean me? Oh, jeez. Look at all these areas. Okay, so I finished, like, this first little area. Well, to be fair, the, the rest of the areas don't look um, quite as twisting and turning as the first one. So I don't think the rest of this place will take as long, but I am going to go ahead and stop here for now, guys. Um, just, you know, I don't want to get in the middle of this dungeon and then have my video go too long or whatever. So first ascent of pharaohs, or I guess that's, this is all the first ascent, <laughs> alright, so, first part of the first ascent of pharaohs complete, I will get through the other 900 floors, I hope I'm joking, next time. Thank you guys so much for watching me play Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age, I really do appreciate you guys, and I'll see you with another video soon. Bye for now!